Welcome to the Unit 3 Lesson 4 Lab Instructions for Water Movement in Plants for Mrs. Dieter's Science 6B course. For this lab, our question to consider is how do you think water moves from the roots to the leaves of plants? In this experiment, we're going to find out the answer to this question. Before we can begin our experiment, we're going to need to collect some supplies. The supplies you're going to need for this experiment include a large drinking glass filled with water, some food coloring, and some celery. Your first step of the experiment is to take the glass of water and add 10 drops of red food coloring to the glass. Stir the food coloring into the water, then add one stalk of celery to the food coloring and water. And now we wait. After three days in the food coloring, this is what the bottom of the celery looks like. If you cut off a piece of the bottom of the celery, you'll see that there are tiny little sections where the red food coloring can be seen going through the celery. Now that we've collected some data, it's time to think like a scientist. What other kinds of plants could we use to find the similar results and discover how water moves in plants? To find the answer to this new question, I went to my kitchen, and I looked through the refrigerator to see what kind of plants I had available to use. I found some cauliflower, and I also found a leek, which is like a big green onion. I followed the same experiment, putting them both into red food coloring and water, and now we're going to see what happened next. Let's focus on the cauliflower first. Over the course of three days, very little happened with the leak. It looked pretty much the same for the entire time that it was in the water. I cut the leak into pieces to see if I could see any food coloring moving through the plant. The food coloring had mostly been absorbed through the roots of the leak, as you can see through the fibrous end, all colored with red food coloring. But when I looked at the cut end of the leek, I could see some very tiny little red dots, very similar to what I saw with the celery. Now it's your turn to try the experiment. Complete the experiment as listed in your lesson. You also want to make sure that you turn in a lab report so you can receive a grade for this assignment. Follow the rubric within the lesson. Don't forget to answer your conclude and apply questions and submit your lab report to the Dropbox for credit. Thank you for joining me today, and if you have any questions, please just let me know by email or give me a phone call. Have a great day. Thanks so much.